The head of the union representing local Alstom workers is reacting to the latest blow to the rail car plant. The Toronto Transit Commission has withdrawn its request for proposals to produce 480 subway cars due to a lack of government funding. Alstom was one of four companies which pre-qualified to submit bids for the massive $2.3 billion contract. Unifor Local 1075 President Justin Roberts says it's not good news for a plant which is struggling to survive. Oh, well, we are very disappointed that the contract's been uh, put on hold. Um, that contract was very important to us for our future. Um, we're really hoping that when it does come back up for bid, that uh, our facility has a good chance of getting it there. We are, I know we are going to compete to get that contract when it comes back, but we are very disappointed that we have lost it for the time being. The local plant has produced hundreds of Toronto subway cars in the past, and Roberts was hoping this new contract could help bring back the workforce to the previous levels. Around 900 employees were laid off in 2020, when several contracts ended. There's currently about 240 uniform members working in the plant, but more are coming back as the plant ramps up to refurbish 94 older GO train cars for Metrolinx. Meanwhile, the first of 60 new streetcars for the TTC was just delivered this week, but the plant needs another contract soon. Roberts wants the federal and provincial governments to come up with their share for the subway cars and increase Canadian content rules to help Alstom win the contract. And we would really appreciate if the, if the three levels of government could get back together and, and figure this out so we could get some funding to get these contracts going again in the future because without future contracts, our members, we've only got about 20 to 24 months of work on the books right now. So those contracts are really important to us for our future.